them to ask this group to come and visit because the show was not only educational but very entertaining as well. We've never had such a good response from the kids before. Uh, we'd love to see them again next year. Hopefully it takes water to prepare a meal. For example, you have to wash your hands before you touch the food because sometimes your hands are dirty and that takes water. You might need to wash the fruits and vegetables. The fruits and vegetables are dirty. So that takes water. You're going to boil some pasta. You got to put fresh water in that pot and put it in the pasta. You're going to wash the dishes and the vegetable. And don't forget to brush your teeth and you're done. And Lear dug his own pond. Then he filled it up till his well water was gone. So Lear dug his well deeper, 20 feet down. Dropping the water level in all the wells of that town. Huh? Evil laugh! What? <laughs> kind of sad. Go. Then Lear planted the lawn as far as he could see and watered it till his well was empty. fantastic shows that our kids have been exposed to and we had kindergarten to second grade and they were so engaged, it was wonderful. And we learned a lot, we had fun, and we will remember what we learned. As you are rushing, your lovely sparkling smile, please don't let one run for a long let me And I'm hearing them going away, saying what you said on stage. <laughs> How do you save water when brushing your teeth? How do you save water when you... <laughs> I feel nervous. Okay, I, I know the answer, that's a simple one. How do you save water when brushing your teeth? You turn the water off while you brush. Only turn it on when you get your rinse. Is that right? That is correct. 